This is an experiment looking at food microbiology. We are taking a food sample. Uh, you could take multiple things like hamburger, or, uh, potato salad, or you uh, taking some fresh strawberries. We weighed them, mixed them in with water, and so we are now going to take this diluted strawberry slushy, if you will. The ultimate purpose is to figure out how many bacteria are present per gram of strawberry. How contaminated, if it is contaminated. Uh, we want to dilute this out because we don't know how contaminated it is. So we're going to start off with the relatively strong concentration and then progressively dilute out. So that ideally, um, when we come to back to look at the samples, we're going to be looking at uh, the number of colonies, and remember you can only count between 30 and 300. So we're trying to find that range in here. So that's why we have to do a dilution. We, we have no idea how many bacteria are in the sample, that's why we're testing it. We're going to do pour plates for this. So we will start off first by taking a mill. The sample has already uh, been diluted, as I said. And we are going to take a mill out of the slushy sample and add a mill in here. This is ultimately going to be a 1 to 10 dilution. Then we are going to take a tenth of a mill and put it into plate number 2. That becomes a 1 to 100 dilution. Now this water sample has 99 mils. We are going to add 1 mil to it. A little bit of strawberry plugged up. So we have a mill, we add that to the sample. So that is now one mill in 99 mils, it means it is diluted one to a hundred. We need to get a new pipette now because this was in the original strength and it would uh, mess up your dilution if you go with the same pipette now into this. We're diluting it out. So we got a new pipette. We're going to take a mill out of this sample now. Let me mix it up a little bit. There we go. Take a milliliter out. Put it into plate number three. And in the last plate, plate number four, we're just going to take a tenth of a mill out. So this way we will have four different dilutions. To be and hopefully be hitting it in the right area to determine once again how many bacteria per milligram of strawberries was this and you can tell just by looking at the color you can see that it's been diluted out check our augers that have been uh, in a water bath we don't want them too hot but we don't want them too cool because then they will solidify too fast. So the pour plate, remember we just pour the auger in, swirl the plate, get it nicely mixed in there, set that aside to let it solidify. And then we're just gonna go down the row and do that for each one of these plates. Remember to swirl it so it evenly covers the bottom of the plate, plus that also helps to mix up the sample well. With pour plates, remember, different than a street plate, you could have bacteria growing throughout the medium, not just on top, but it can be throughout. Swirl this last plate. And like I said, we'll set these aside, let them solidify. When it is done, then we will incubate them. Always incubate them, invert it. We'll incubate at 37 degrees for uh, 24 hours and then come back and look at them. The concentration on the plate is a 1 to 10 dilution. Then we have a 1 to 100, 1 to 1,000, and 1 to 10,000. Our idea for this we're trying to determine, in this case we use the strawberry slushy, how many bacteria per gram 
of or per mil of the the slushy drink the strawberries so we're trying to hit a range of where when we count colonies we only count between 30 and 300 so we're trying to hit within that range when we did uh, the plate counts. These are four plates, so we mixed in the solution, the media, and then poured the auger on. So what you would do is go through and you would look at some plates. If you had plated the strawberry directly on without diluting it, it would probably be overwhelmed with bacteria. It would be more than 300, which would be classified as too numerous to count. On this plate, there are several different bacteria that are growing here. One easy way to keep track is if you take a Sharpie and you just kind of mark as you would count on the bacteria. Uh, so if you were to count and start here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, et cetera. And you would just continue counting the entire plate and mark, and that way you know what you've counted or not. Like I say, you don't count over 300 and you don't count less than 30. Now this plate, the one to 100, as you can see, there's a large colony right here. And obviously the colonies look different. Uh, there's some very small ones scattered in here as well. Well, obviously you're going to have different types of bacteria on something like a strawberry or a hamburger, or whatever it is that you're testing. It's not going to, if it has bacteria, it's not going to be pure colonies. So once again, you're going to count. Now, what do you do with this number? We have previously counted this uh, plate, the 1 to 10. And what you would do <coughs> is oftentimes your first plate here may be too numerous to count, T and T, C. That means there's more than 300 colonies on there. Now this plate was a 1 to 10 dilution. We previously counted this plate and had 65 colonies on it. The 1 to 100 plate only had 20 colonies on it. This will sometimes be recorded as TFTC, too few to count, is less than 300. So we were able to hit, with our dilution, hit this range of between 30 and 300. Well, the ultimate thing was to figure out how much did you have per milliliter? What, trace back to that original uh, item that you had. In this case, it was a strawberry slushy. So what all you do is you take that 65, multiply it by your dilution factor, which is 10. And so that means you have 650 bacteria. That's what was growing on our plate per, now we were using a slushy, so it's per milliliter of what that initial substance was. Just multiply the the number, do you use the 20 here? No, don't look at that, that's less than 30. Do you use numbers here? No, it's greater than 300. You just pick that one number. I don't care if there's six plates here, just pick the one that's between 30 and 300, and then just multiply it by this number here.